And we're back. Shout out to everybody that's following up so far with the physics editing and the whole four cylinder and the GM602. Shout out to the guys that keep downvoting everything on Reddit. I appreciate everybody's opinion equally. Now, for tonight, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna make short videos and all the boring mumbo jumbo you can catch up in the comment section. So I'm not gonna yap too much today. We're gonna take a four cylinder for the squirt on track for a little bit, few laps to take some telemetry laps, load it in the analyzer and see how it does. It is the slowest of the slow. It's 100 horsepower for the squirt. We'll see how much actual real wheel horsepower just putting out when we load it on the analyzer. By the four cylinder Hornet rules, uh, cars with 135 horsepower or less have no weight regulation on them, so you can have any weight for your car if it's that slow. Right now, I made 2000, 1700, and 1500 pound versions. This one that we're driving is a 2000 pound one, so it's, it's okay, it's not that bad. But the 1500 one is really weird. Once you take off all the weight, the car feels much, much different. It's more bouncy, the center of gravity travels everywhere, all over the place. But most importantly, I want to point out that once you remove the weight and your car starts being bouncy on the track, it feels way more like iRacing to me. It doesn't feel as dead. I know it's a wrong approach. I know it's not correct in the simulation part to take off weight to fix force feedback. It has to be done other way. It has to do something with transfer rates, physics, uh, suspension, spring coefficients. We're gonna dig to the bottom of this thing and see if we can revive the force feedback a little bit. This is extra, we're not talking about this. Woo, three pointer, you know, that's for later. For now, the point of this whole move is to make the slowest cars for multiplayer racing and online racing and maybe even single player fun, but mostly to create the slowest of the slow league of online racing. I posted that banger video that everybody seems to enjoy and you know, we're gonna try to run something similar maybe with AI or maybe with a couple of my buddies, take the slow ass four cylinder cars and see how they do on the track, you know, multiplayer, how slow can you go? Now we covered up the eye racing part and the slow way, a small weight and how it behaves. I really wanted to share that with you. For now, you could check out how it feels, how it sounds on the four cylinder that I made. Four cylinder for the sport, 103 horsepower, I believe. We're gonna load that one into the replay analyzer, see the graphs, see how much horsepower, how much torque, what's the acceleration, what's the corner traction. You can see everything about this car, along with other 10 four cylinder engines that range from 100 horsepower to 200 horsepower. We're gonna drive all of them one by one maybe two at a time and then load all of them in the replay analyzer and complain i mean compare the two now it's coming out to the end yeah all right stay tuned for the next one bye